Hi, today we're going to divide radical expressions. Uh, a couple of rules that you need to know. First off, we're not allowed to have a negative exponent anywhere, and we're not allowed to have a fraction exponent anywhere in the denominator. Anywhere in the bottom, no fraction exponents. If you happen to see a fraction exponent down here on the bottom, especially when we have binomials, uh, remember groups of two, we're going to have to do something called rationalizing the denominator, and we're going to do it by multiplying by conjugates. Multiplying by conjugates. Okay, so what is a conjugate? Well, like conjugate words uh, that are, you know, two words that kind of mean the same thing, uh, different forms, we're going to have that here. We're going to have a different binomial that's very similar, but with one small change. Okay, so we're going to multiply by a value of 1, so 3x to the 1 half and a 2. Um, our conjugate here, the only th I'm going to rewrite my whole denominator again. The only difference is that this plus sign is going to change to a minus sign. It's the only difference. And since we're rationalizing, we want the bottom and the top to be the same exact thing. Now, all we have to do is distribute. Distribute the top, distribute the bottom. It's going to be a long, ugly answer, but that's okay. Our main goal is to get rid of these fraction exponents down, down on the bottom. So up top, let's distribute. Let's multiply these two things. Uh, x to the 1 half and 3. x to the 1 half, we're going to get 3. X to the, remember, we have to add the exponents. 1 half plus 1 half is going to give us 1. Distribute out there, giving us negative 2x to the 1 half. Then we have to start from the inside. Distribute those guys. Get negative 6x to the 1 half. And then finally, negative negative gives us positive. We'll get a 4. We'll come back and we'll simplify all that in a second. Let's do the same on the bottom. Let's distribute down here. So we'll start off with these. 3 and 3 gives us 9. x to the 1 half, x to the 1 half, add the exponents. 1 half, 1 half gives us 1. Uh, negative 6x to the 1 half. Distribute the 2 now. Positive 6x to the 1 half. Now, why do we do these conjugates? We do the conjugates for that to happen. The fraction exponents disappear here. That's our goal. That's what we want it to happen. So plus minus helps this part to happen. Okay, let's simplify and see what we can put together. Make this one less ugly answer. Uh, Rewrite, so we have 3x to the first power. Do we need that exponent of 1? No, we do not. Uh, like terms, x to the 1 half, x to the 1 half, that's fine. Uh, negative 8, the numbers in front combine. That variable stays the same. And then bring that 4 over. On the bottom, 9x, we do not need the 1. And then minus 4. Now I said something about having no fraction exponents. It's fine as long as they're upstairs, just not downstairs. Big ugly answer, but that's what we do to simplify. Let's try it again. I, I need to rationalize this denominator, so we're going to multiply by its conjugate. Conjugate is something very similar with one small change. That minus sign turns to a plus. It's always this middle sign that changes. So in order to rationalize, we're going to do the same thing up top. And let's start distributing. x to the 1 half, x to the 1 half is going to give us x. Add the exponents. 1 plus 2x to the 1 half. Distribute the 2 now. 2x to the 1 half again. And then... 4. On the bottom, 
distribute x to the first, distribute 2x to the 1 half, distribute the negative 2, and one last one, you get the negative 4. All right, so because of that conjugate, positive and the negative cancel out, and let's combine what we can combine. X to the first, I don't need that one. Uh, our variables are the same here, so you're going to have 2 plus 2 gives us 4. Exponent and variable stay the same. And on the bottom, x minus 4. And that is dividing radical expressions by rationalizing the denominator by multiplying by its conjugate.